Use a double integral to find the area of the region bounded by x equals 0, 4x plus y equals 0, and x squared plus y equals 12 in the second quadrant. So our first step is to rewrite these equations that were given in terms of x. So for our first equation, we have that 4x plus y equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this 4x to the other side, and you'll get y is equal to negative 4x. So I'll call that equation 1. And then for our second equation, we're given x squared plus y is equal to 12. And then I'm just going to move this x squared to the other side. So we have y is equal to 12 minus x squared. I'm going to call that equation 2. So our second step is to try and find where these equations uh, intersect each other. So to do that, we can just set them equal to each other. So from equation 1, we have x squared. So we have negative 4x. And we can set that to the right-hand side of equation 2, which was 12 minus x squared. So now I'm just going to solve this like a normal quadratic equation. So rearranging, I get that 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. And so then that can be factored as 0 equals x minus 6 and x plus 2. So then finally, when we solve for x, we find that the two curves intersect at x equals 6 and negative 2. But we're only told uh, to worry about the area in the second quadrant. So that means we can disregard the 6 because we know that in the second quadrant x is negative. So let's go ahead and graph this to see what it looks like. Um, so here's our axes. So equation uh, our parabola um, is going to look something like this. So here's our 12 minus x squared. And then our 4 minus x squared, or our negative 4x, is going to look something like this. And here's our intersection point. OK. So just looking at this now, we know that y is bounded above by 12 minus x squared and below by negative 4x. So let's go ahead and try and set up our integral for y. So in y, we know that we're bounded above by 12 minus x squared and below by negative 4x. So this is going to be our integral in y. And then to make this double integral, we have to add our bounds for x. So then our x is bounded below, we found, by negative 2. And then it goes over to x equals 0. And then our y, like we've already found, is bounded below by negative 4x and above by 12 minus x squared. That's going to be dy dx. Now to do this integral is actually kind of the easy part. So what we're going to do now is just split it up piece by piece. So first we're going to integrate in y. So we'll have the integral from negative 2 to 0 of y from negative 4x to 12 minus x squared dx. And then that gives us the integral from negative 2 to 0 of 12 minus x squared minus negative 4x. And then these negatives cancel each other out. And then now we just have to integrate in x. So that's going to give us the integral from negative 2 to 0 of 12 minus x squared plus 4x dx, which is equal to 12x minus x cubed over 3 
plus 4x squared over 2, which is just 2x squared. And that's going to be from negative 2 to 0. And I'll leave it to you at home to check this, but, but I'm getting an answer of about, uh, about 40 over 3. So I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and do me a favor and hit like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.